Dung means so much, so much to me. Um, you can say it's even one of the catalysts for limited edition being born. Well, my first significant encounter with, with the Dunk was in 2000 and I had just started working in my dad's sporting goods store in this whole mall called Queensway Shopping Centre, which was like the mecca for sporting goods in Singapore. And I mean, it still is today. So yeah, I remember I was thrown in the deep end and uh, I started ordering Dunks. You know, we had to choose the colourways really carefully and you know, uh, we had to like choose colourways which we thought would sell well, you know, all those two-tone colourways. Just because we had to meet these order minimums because we were, we were the only ones in Singapore carrying them. And uh, I mean, this exclusivity was kind of cool. It kind of helped us build a cult following. And yeah, like I said, we were the only ones carrying it and not even your Nike stores in Singapore were carrying it. And I think one cool thing was then people from all, of, all around the region used to gravitate towards Singapore to, to get these, these dunks. We had exhibitions revolving around the Dunk. Uh, I remember Rank and I mean Dunk was so prominent in that exhibition. If you are a shoe collector, you might want to head on over to Queensway Shopping Centre. There are more than 300 limited edition sneakers on display at a shop in the shopping centre over the next two days. The branded footwear from Nike... We had just opened our skate store called LE2 at the time and we just started carrying Dunk SV and the guy in charge of the region at that time was called Dennis, Dennis Tan, um, and I introduced him to Mark, SBTG, and we kind of pitched to, let's do some dunk collaborations with Nike. And we pitched him on doing a SBTG and also a LE2 or LE uh, store collab. You know, I remember talking to Dennis and it was like, okay, let's do the SBTG first and then we follow up with the LE collab. And so the story goes, hey, yeah, the SBTG, sample done, they released it in 2006 and maybe sometime later, six months to one year later, um, it was supposed to be the LE collab and all I know, it, it was sampled but uh, sad, sadly, the project got canned. Around five years later, you know, I'm just surfing on the internet, just totally random and I see a picture of a dunk and I, I did a second take and I went, oh my god, that's the dunk we designed for the LE collab and I contacted this, this guy who was selling samples, selling these samples and I paid 2,000 US dollars and got them shipped to Singapore and yeah, so I, I, at least I have in possession that dung that never happened. You know, we want to make it very skatable, gum sole, reflective, we want to skate at night. Uh, you know, it has this really nice puffy lining, you know, for comfort. Um, design, design cues were, you know, we had this uh, like batik, Kabaya print uh, on the insole. I don't know whether you can see it. Um, in our LE2 store, one of the signature things was this keg, this beer keg, and uh, yeah, it's like there's an imprint on, on it here. Um, yeah, so these were just some of the design cues, and uh, um, I mean, at least I have a pair, and although it never happened, you know, it, it's, it's just uh, good memories. I mean, the Dunk story is the Ellie story. I, you know, I think about hey, me meeting Mark, him coming to the store to um, sell me his customs, or we doing a custom for an exhibition called Rank. Um, it's us meeting. It's my longtime staff, Sebastian, um, store manager, who, you know, loved Dunks and him coming to work for me. I mean, it's all these connections that we made or just customers who over the years I have got to know personally. You know, I think about um, Daniel, who to me is like an urban legend and has probably one of the most amazing collections in the world. And you know, he, he, was, he was doing this before sneaker collecting maybe was even a big thing, right? So it, it's, it's, you know, it's all these connections, all these amazing people who Sneakerheads, as, as we all call them, who have collected dunks and I've seen them grow up over the years. And it's, I think, one of the biggest impacts to me is all these um, connections I've made with all these people, which has lasted the, the you know, the test of time and, and the friendships being made. And uh, yeah, I, I think to me, that's the most important thing.